just came to get an update on the uh, job I gave you. It looks like you, uh, you got other priorities. You know, preliminary inquiries were made. I'm working on it. I was going to follow up on it today. You know, I tell you what, don't don't worry about it. Hey, you guys, come on, come, can we please not do this? Uh, do what? Today. Olivia? You know exactly what I'm talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. Sonny. What? Last day, it was so nice. Yeah. Cooking with you, nice. I had a lot of fun. And uh -huh. I'm remembering how much fun it can be when we just remember how to be friends, you know? You see, that's the thing. I don't, I don't do friends um, very well. I just got a lot on my plate, you know? And it looks like you got a lot on, on your plate, too. Surprise. I have business. Um, I'd like to extend my dock and my boathouse, but it requires an easement on the north end of your property. I was hoping you wouldn't mind. I don't care. I don't, I don't even think I've seen a north edge of my property. Thank you. Yeah, whatever, whatever. Let me guess. You had a fight with Olivia. Don't. How would you even know that? I don't know, when we were kids, and she'd piss you off, you'd have the exact same expression on your face. You always hated being at odds with Olivia. I'm sorry I spent enough time watching you and Olivia together. I got pretty good at spotting the indicators. What does that mean? The look on your face that told me you two were fighting. You know what, Kate? Olivia and I have been fighting ever since we were kids. It doesn't really indicate anything, but one person pissed the other one off. Yes, but it's not quite that simple with you and Olivia. The emotions are so epic. You know, it's a wonder that you even registered me at all. Do you think about it? What would have happened if you hadn't gravitated toward Joe Scully? I mean, that is the reason that Olivia broke up with you, right? Well, I think about it. What's the point? You know, I chose what I chose. Olivia didn't want any part of the mob or me once I got in it. Do you wish it had been different? No, not necessarily. I wouldn't have been with you, and I, I, I wouldn't trade that for anything in the world. Yeah, sweet of you to say. No, it's the truth. What? What do you mean, sweet of me? It's the truth. I don't know. What? Sometimes I wonder whether we shouldn't have ever gotten together. Back in Bensonhurst or here. Also, you have regrets. <laughs> uh, sure. I regret the wasted time. Because clearly being with you was an exercise in futility from the moment that Olivia and you laid eyes on each other again. Can you track down Olivia? to come to our wedding. That was for you, not for me. You were feeling nostalgic, and I wanted you to have some family there. Mm-hmm. You didn't feel the slightest twinge of excitement at the thought of seeing her again? Well, you know, it's been 20 years, right? So I'm sure I wanted to see her a little bit, and she wanted to see me a little bit, but it's not like we were carrying torches for each other. <clears throat> yeah, OK, fine. I won't say that it was deliberate. Okay, I won't even say that it was conscious, but hey, look at me. I was deep in willful blindness, and even I had to admit that you and Olivia still had it for each other. See, now you you always do this. Now you're making stuff up in your head. Uh, am I? Yes, you are. <laughs> Sonny, you can admit it, okay? Right. Look, I won't take it as a, as a reflection on our own failed relationship, all right? I know full well that we didn't come apart because of Olivia. I'm just making an observation that it isn't over between you and my cousin. Olivia's with Johnny now. Why? That's not my business. But if I had any doubt, I, it was confirmed this morning oh, poo. with my own eyes. Yes. Please. No, I'm, I'm dead serious. You know that all you have to do is run on over there and tell her how much you love her, and she would finally all be yours. Destiny fulfilled after all of these years. You know, irony is quite delicious. That I would be the one to tell you the truth. See, you got a bad habit.
habit of just barging in. I, I'm sorry, the guard didn't tell me you had company right now. No, it's okay. I think I've stayed too long as it is. I need to call the architect and tell him to move forward with the boathouse project. Thank you for agreeing with the easement. And um, you should really consider my advice. Well, can I ask what advice she was referring to? No. If you're smart, you won't. Okay. Mm-hmm. Look, it turns out the uh, Joey Limbo death has worked out in your favor. It seems that everyone knows now that you're not one to be cross and they're better off staying loyal. And there is nothing at this point to tie you to the shooting on Front Street either. Of course, you know, Claudia's death is a bit more problematic. I was hoping we could go over what happened that night just one more time. Okay. What did you see when you were at the cabin? Who says that I was at the cabin? Well, if you weren't, I need to know. Why? Well, you asked me to find out who sent Jason this picture of Claudia's body. It was taken at the cabin, and by the time I got there, it was just ashes. So, I mean, if you were there before me or earlier, maybe you saw a light or a car or anything that would help me figure out who took the picture. You know what, Dominic? All you seem to have for me is a lot of questions about me. Where I was, who I saw, how did Claudia die? What, is, what does all those questions have to do with, with the picture? Unless the picture is just an excuse to find out if I killed Claudia. The very best.